Hello folks and welcome back to the county of Portsley Dale and in today's episode we are going to be bringing in public transport for the first time in this city and because we were very struggling over here to complete level 2 by bringing in more workers into this area so we're going to give this its own dedicated bus and we're going to give this its own dedicated bus system the whole whole area is going to be public transport but first what we're going to also do is we're going to bring in this motorway junction because then we can see what we're going to do we're going to connect the south the south points of the towns together as well and then that should increase or decrease the flow of traffic along here of people just trying to get over to the other city and yeah let's get a cracking so first of all we're going to put it on pause because it's going to be major work going on and we're going to pull these back a bit then we're going to flick it to a road junction here it's the normal road junction and we're just going to just do it by eye to see what looks good and we're going to have it try and meet up alongside the train line not too close not too far but just so this will be our like little train connection corridor motorway section and there you go if you go out to and then you come in th from the other direction and just follow the nodes back up you should have a nice looking motorway in the end I say should no so you've already messed up It's always perfect off camera. And here we go, boom. Maybe we come back a bit. Yeah, you always want to keep that two square in the middle just because when you go to upgrade it like this, you've got enough room to make it even bigger. And obviously when you put in the motorway junction straight off with the motorway roads you don't get the guides so it makes it even harder for you to put in a motorway system I'm going to keep that for now but we will be getting rid of that when we come to overhaul the motorway junction here. Now, do we have any better roads that could go in? Yes. I feel that we could have a better road coming in. Just gonna follow from where those people are standing. Now, I like my bridges straight. I don't know why, I just do. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Right, let's redesign this. Let's have a look at our options. Is that the only option? Mm, not liking that. Boom, there we go. Perfect. Got it. Spot on. I do love that. Oh, no. Come out 12. And then down. Now we're going to use the curve tool here to connect them up. Just give them that right nice curve tool effect. I think this is just going to have to be straight away like that. It does not look good. There we go. Now to connect the south 
of Badgerton to the south of Foxton, just so people don't have to go up and around, they can now just go straight across. Obviously there's going to be a train line there, so we're going to have to be respectful of that, that this is going to be an even bigger bridge than before. Now the smaller bridges, they're much more flexible than the bigger ones. So they're much more easier for projects like this. There we go, we're going to have it bend round and down. Then that will work as well. If you're coming up here and you want to go to Badgerton, you can just go up and over here. Actually, no, I'm thinking I want to get more bang for my buck, so I'm going to make a challenge here. I'm going to come down here, actually, so I feel it would be better. And when the terrain's being quite challenging, you can just move it up or use the Move It mod, as we found out. But that looks great. I know I said I like my bridges to be straight, but I think it's just the main arc to be straight. So this is fine being curved downwards. Just gives it a bit more flair when you do something like that. And I want this connected to that. I'm going to use the curve tool again. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to bring this. I just want this road basically running kind of with the train line and that will look far more you know ye olde oh, that's a massive bridge as well for such a small town and then also we get use out of this southern roundabout here Okay, I'm going to try and keep the house and now see I do have a heart move it mod there we go perfect power power yep you're right see that they're using it already Absolutely amazing. They're using it already to connect to one another. That's a bit of a treacherous slope. Hold on. That looks weird. Two seconds. See, that looks good. So right, we've connected the town up and we've made a full loop basically and there's like two options now so the traffic can go either way to either town. Also makes me wonder what we're going to do with this area. Now we can expand, expand Foxton into this area or leave it for services and industry. We will leave that. We'll leave that for now. Right, so bringing public transport into here for the first time ever, we should start with one of these bio buses, because the bio buses will be much more better for environmentally and everything. And seeing as we're like raking it in here and we've got tons of money, this I don't mind spending a little bit more on a better bus. So there we go, we've got our bus station in. This is all smooth. So, no oh dear, rubbish is kicking up again. Hold on. So yes, let's bring our buses in into Badgerton, and we just want to connect these areas up now. So we're going to have the Badgerton bus, 
which basically will go around Badgerton and it's going to start over here. It's going to be a point to point bus. It's going to connect basically everyone up in this side. So it's going to come down here, it's going to stop on the high street, it's going to come over here into the workstation onto the other side of the workstation then come back it's going to take a slightly different route when it comes back oh, well, no, there we go and this is just going to collect all the workers and take them to work over there and we're going to have the same point to point over here oh, rubbish is becoming a problem okay, so not to worry. We did say that we this might become a service entrance or service center of some kind. So what we can do is we just bring a road off here, where it's fairly out of the way. Do a nice straight road for me. And we can lay down some facilities to help out with this rubbish problem. Ah, literally a rubbish problem. So we put that one that side, and then we put a recycle center on this side. And I can bring the road around here, make that look a bit better. So I mean pernickety now, aren't I? There we go. Boom. Just gives it a little bit more area of effect here. Oh, and obviously, actually, we don't want it feeding off that one. We want them feeding off that. We want those guys feeding off that. So you can see what we've done. We've left this main corridor blank so that everything can just flow nice and neatly in. There we go, that fits better now. Can we get that? Oh, we can! Look at that, perfect. Do you know what made that look a little bit more beautiful? Industry road. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go, perfect. So we left the main corridor here empty and these two side roads are where they get in and out. And this clearly does not need a light thing. Okay, where were we? Right, buses. So Foxton is going to have its own bus that go also goes over into the woods here. Seems we've got the basic main layout now, then we'll just be adding to it. And I like to do a point to point, so this is going to be the bottom. Have it come up through here. Just trying to see where we can get the most amount of people. Gonna have it stop near the school and near the other school. It's gonna come round. It's gotta go over, so just before it does. There we go. Stop outside the barracks. And then down here. I suppose it should go round the work plantation really. Oh that'd be fun. If this was the other point, and then they came back on itself. Nice, I like that, how it stops there. Brilliant, round it goes. That's like the school again. 
and connect her up. So we've got a bus for Foxton, we've got a bus for Badgerton, so let's bring in another bus for you know travel between the two cities. Now where can we have this? Feeling like it should start there because then that would encourage them if they need to switch lines just to walk across the road. Then if we bring it here they can switch to the line here and come down here. And there you can go straight back over to Foxton here. And there we go, that's all hooked up and that should mean that everyone can get everywhere. Now these guys are connected via this path so they can easily get on the line here. That's bringing loads more people in. Let's have a look. And our workers has not increased. Let's put it on three speed and let's see what happens. Now all the buses are rocking and rolling. And all the houses have upgraded as you can see there. Ooh, I like that. Oh, we can't even, we don't even have enough. Boy, oh boy, I'm meant to be the expert here. Hold on, we don't even have enough workers. Hold on, let's have a look. How much do we're producing tons of timber? Right, okay, so let's bring in another plant of some description. Bring in a nice square off. Let's see, let's bring in another wood plant. Another bio pellet factory. There we go. Let's bring in some small buildings. There you go. Now to really make these pop, what we can do is to get those dirt roads, turn off all the guides, just you know go around the edge of the V's. There you go, it gives them another option to come in. This place is starting to look very, very busy now. I think we're going to need to put down another plantation. Let's just have a look. Why are we importing? Don't import. Right, let's bring in a couple more plantations. Just to really get things cooking. I'm not gonna say that we expand foxes just down here as well, not anywhere near the motorway, but normal road please. And that is a far too straight road going on there. So we're going to try and make it look like that was the main road before the motorway came in, and now it's been conquered. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side by just bringing this across. Hold on, we're going to board it up first. So 
we're going to board up this side as well. And we're going to bring in this road along here. And just to try and make these jump houses, I'm going to make those the big ones. The same thing again, what we're going to do just to block out this road is to put a fence along here. Meaning we can put bigger houses on these squares. No water? How's that happened? Ping. Ah, done! Level 3 conquered. Awesome. Let's just finish off these guys quickly. 3 speed. So there we go, we've got a nice little community down here now, and uh, let's go over to here. So yes, we finally did it, we finally made. So we're up to three stars now, we're in level three forestry production area. And this is actually going really, really well. Like I have not had to touch this, but we will have to change this at some point, which might mean I need to move these things down. But it's going very well. And there we go, we are now a level three industry area which is wonderful. I'm going to try and get this up to level 5 in just this nice little tiny small area. Just a good good old-fashioned challenge. Might bring the factories across here though into this area. Maybe even spin it around and move the road over so that we can get more industry into this section. But who knows? We will find out on the next one. Have a great day guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below, it would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform, links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.